Happy Friday everyone. Um, I just thought I'd pop on here and say hi and let you know that we're off to Sissinghurst for the weekend in the motorhome. So um, I've been shopping this morning and filled the motorhome up, um, you know, with food we need for the weekend. Um, I'm just rushing around doing last minute bits and pieces, trying to um, get organised. Hector, come say hello. Come on, say hi. <laughs> Can you see him? Oh, there he is. You're really excited, aren't you, Hector? You can't wait to go. Um, I'm sure you'll see a bit more of Hector once we're away. Okay, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> he is funny. Right, so we're on the motorhome. I don't know how much you can see. Um, I've just got some coleslaw, a bit of pasta. Um, it's all easy stuff this time because, um, as I say, Dave's going to be quite late, so just um, easy house salad. And um, I think tonight we're just going to have some quiche, some salad, um, maybe some coleslaw or pasta, and then I bought some sliced mushrooms. How lazy! But I bought some sliced mushrooms so I can have them for breakfast. And obviously eggs. Um, we've got bacon. And in case we don't get out for lunch, I've got some smoked salmon, some marcos, avocado, some halloumi slices, so we can make some stuff up if need be. Um, and then, what else? Oh, I bought these to try. Um, mushroom arasini. I don't know what they are really, but... Um, you can heat them up so I thought they might be quite nice and then we've got some mozzarella and tomato pastries so I didn't get much because um, we might be going out as I say for a meal not sure yet but then if I go to the cupboard up here which I have to climb on a chair because I'm so short <laughs> I bought some half-baked baguettes they're sourdough ones. Um, oh yeah, I've got some some cheese in the fridge, so I thought. Um, and the dips. There's some dips. Did I have some dips? I'm sure, I bought some dips. No way. Oh, I did buy some dips. So I've got shiraka style rippled hummus. That looks nice. So and then. I've got some boisson, velvety garlic and herb cheese, and then drizzled with mint and infused with oil, summer edition, whipped feta dip. So, that's the reason I bought um, these little breads, because I thought they'd be nice with a dip. Um, I've got some Mediterranean crackers for the cheese and then a variety of pop chips sweet and salty pop works they're like tri triangular rice cake type popcorn I'm guessing um, that's another one which is sweet barbecue flavour and then some more popped chips so I thought they'd be nice as a snack or some dips. I always keep a couple of these porridges in there in case. Um, so yeah, that's the food all sorted. And um, got the usual. If I take you down here in my secret stash, I've got all the coke for my. Hardy, or if someone just fancies a cold drink, so that's stored in there. My secret compartment that's not secret anymore, and <laughs> then I've got 
in here we normally keep all the water Dave likes a fizzy water so if I can get the cupboard open uh, as you know that's where I keep my Bacardi stash the dog food um, plenty of coffee sorted clothes so yep more or less ready to go just got to wait for Dave to put his stuff on I don't think it's going to be uh, really sunny this weekend but never mind so I'm not sure if I told you um, but next weekend the motorhome's got to go back to the dealers um, unfortunately we've had um, a bit of a problem with the control panel which operates the bed Lucky enough, we've been able to still use the motorhome because we're using it in service mode and that's allowing us to bring the bed down because um, it's up there. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, it's in, it's in the roof. So uh, we're having to use it in service mode at the moment and um, that's fine. It, it's working, but it's just a pain because we've got to take it back into the dealers next weekend and it's got to have a new control panel fitted so hopefully the next one lasts a while because um, we haven't used the motorhome that much we've had to wait a long time um, for the control panel to come in from Germany um, we actually I think it was January February we phoned the dealers up and we're now in June um, almost July so that's how long we've waited um, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a quick job. They're not going to have our motorhome too long. Um, so yeah, we'll update you, update you on that once it's done. As I say, I'm just waiting for Dave to get home. So as soon as he's home, ready to go, we'll be off to Sissinghurst. Bye. To the channel we've arrived at Sissinghurst Cricket Club late last night I'm Mason Easton to head after a very very long day just coming through Sissinghurst town uh, just on the way to the campsite and we was egged don't know why just two three eggs all over the windscreen uh, we managed to clean it off okay uh, not a problem but uh, it just absolutely just baffles me why people do that I know it's probably kids and I know that's what kids do but hell of a mess on the motorhome but we have managed to clean it up a little bit it's of egg, eggshell on the front but um, going out for a run in a minute 
uh, I don't really feel like it'll be quite honest because I'm quite exhausted today. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and have a little run and then uh, come back and we chill out and do what we normally do. So, let's put them the game. Oh dear! Who, who do we have here? Well, Mr. Ace Adventures! Oh! <laughs> No, it's a new, um, new uh, channel, a mate of mine, Ace Adventures, if you want to check that out. Um, he's put a couple of videos up, he's only started off, um, but yeah, uh, go to his channel, have a look, give him a like, subscribe if you want, uh, he could do with the, um, the likes and uh, have a look, and I'll catch up with you later. Hello, welcome back to the channel, just going to have a little walk down to the local pub in Sissinghurst. Only about a 10 minute walk called the Milk House. Um, had a nice little 7k run this morning with Andy from Ace Adventures. Um, was very nice, was a bit of a late, late drink last night as well. So we've both done really well to get the 7k in, I, I must admit. Uh, so beautiful day today, nice and warm. Uh, plenty of cloud in the sky, but still nice and warm. So we're gonna have a little, little bit of lunch, and we'll catch up with you when we get down there. Ciao for now.
Hello. Right, so we've had a really good day today. Um, bit of chilling. Went down a pub, had lunch. Been a nice sunny day, nice and warm. Uh, yeah, just a nice relaxing afternoon. So we're now making our way over to the clubhouse. Had a few drinkies in their bar. Um, we sort of like to do that because it's uh, supporting the cricket club uh, that kindly let us have a little rally here. And uh, yeah, uh, nice friendly people. They've had a cricket match today that we had a little little look at. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice, nice, relaxed, chilled out weekend. Um, certainly the, the rallies and the trips out are coming fast and furious now. The mainstay of the summer is there. So uh, yeah, yeah, so we're looking, you know, we're looking to get out I don't think we're out next weekend, but I think we're out the following weekend at another one of our little rallies. So uh, that's up at Bowbridge Marina, just outside Maidstone in Kent. It, the rally field's right on the Medway River. So uh, yeah, that should be another good one. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you later guys. Have a good evening.